For position fixing, at least two lines of position must be obtained. Observing the sun at a time, you can get only one line of position. In order to determine the U-boat position using the sun, two lines of position can be obtained with an interval of three to four hours. Remember the cross-bearing method uh, from the first video, when we received two bearings for the same lighthouse. Between taking two bearings, uh, the U-boat moves with constant heading and speed. We can also use this principle when observing the sun. In order to determine your position using the sun, in the simplest way, uh, you need to get the first line of position by measuring the altitude of the sun at the moment of upper culmination, that is, at the moment of local apparent noon. The second line of position must be obtained by measuring the altitude of the sun three to four hours after local apparent noon. I suggest measuring the altitude of the sun at local apparent noon as follows. Based on the area uh, you are in, you need to calculate the approximate Greenwich mean time of local apparent noon. In this case, it is enough to have an idea of your longitude with an accuracy of 1 or 2 degrees. In case of uncertainty, always round your longitude to the nearest whole degree in the direction to, of east longitude, so as not to miss the moment of local apparent noon. How to determine Greenwich mean time of local apparent noon was discussed in one of the past videos. For the calculation you must use this equation. Determine Greenwich mean time of local apparent noon using the tables. All uncertainties should be resolved towards an earlier offensive of local apparent noon. If necessary, use the correction time zone port of departure, which was also mentioned uh, in one of the previous videos. Set the alarm clock so that you can start measuring a few minutes earlier than the estimated time of local apparent noon. Take a series of measurements over the time span uh, that local apparent noon should cover. Eliminate uh, measurement results uh, that you think are unreliable. Select the highest measured altitude from the remaining values. Correct the measured altitude using the special table on page 95 of Kriegsmarine Tables F Tafel.
use the tables to determine the declination of the sun at the time of local apparent noon. The first line of position will represent the line of your latitude. In order to plot the first line of position, you need to calculate your latitude using the formula. Plot the first line of position. Between the first and second dead reckoning positions, your latitude will change by a certain amount. For position fixing, you need to get two lines of position that correspond to the same zenit. The first line of position must be plotted on the map so that it corresponds to your position at the moment of the second measurement of the sun. You will receive the line of your latitude on which you will be at the moment when you take the second altitude measurement. At the appointed time, take the second measurement of the sun's altitude. Further steps uh, to determine the U-boat position are similar to what we considered uh, in the last video.